Hi, this is Raina from thecheesethief.com and today I'm going to show you how to make my two peg pencil looms. I've gotten a few requests for this tutorial, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, I have a few of these looms that I made. I just make them out of anything. They're all household materials, just pencils, rubber bands, paper, anything that you have on hand. That's I just improvise. So for this one, I'm going to show you how to make it out of this is a sheet of paper. And you do want to make sure your pencils are not sharpened. It just makes it easier. A sharpen I have made looms with sharpened pencils and they're just harder to work with. And the eraser side should be down. So the non-sharpened side should be up. So there's an, other people that have made tutorials. I think tutorial, Tutorials by Leia has made a tutorial on this. My technique is a little different. So I do want to show you how I put it together a little differently. So let's get started. You're going to need two pencils, obviously, and some rubber bands, and I'm using rainbow loom rubber bands, but you also need one big, like, regular rubber band, or you can use a hair tie. I use that, too, on my loom, which is just whatever I have on hand, and a sheet of paper, and this is just typing paper, and you need 11 by 4 inches. Again, not necessarily exact to the, to the half inch or anything. It could be less than a half inch less than 11 inches or four inches. So give or take half an inch. So first I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to fold it in half. And this is just regular typing paper, like so. And I'm gonna fold it half one more time. And then I'm going to fold it into an inch segment. This is a little less than an inch, probably. So let's see. It is, if you want an exact measurement. Oh, it is actually an inch. So an inch segment, a little shorter than an inch, just by a hair. So, and then I'm just going to keep folding it all the way up, like so. And it's okay because it, if it's hard to fold up, your paper gets a little crumbled. That's fine like that and then once you're done with that you could just take a rubber band a rubber band around this a few times so it's in place now you're going to take your pencils and you're going to take two rubber bands and then just wrap it around three times so that's three times and it's going to pull it up like about a little less than halfway. It's closer to the towards the erasers. Now I'm going to take my little um, piece of paper that I made and I'm going to put it right in here. Like so. And it's going to be slippery. It's going to slip, but that's fine. You're just going to hold it like this in place. Then I'm going to take two more rubber bands. and then wrap this around three times. I'm actually going to do four because my rubber bands are a little looser. And there you go. You already have your pencil loom. But this part is a little slippery so it can slip out and that's when this rubber band comes into play. You could just take this big rubber band and wrap it around over here. And depending on how big this rubber band is, you just want to wrap it enough so it's secure. And there you have your pencil loom. If this is too wide for you, then you could add another rubber band here to tighten it. See, if you see how if I make this tight, then this this gets smaller. But this is around the same the width that I like to use. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials like this. If you happen to make this pencil loom, I would love to see it. So if you're on Instagram, be sure to tag me. My username is the cheese thief on Instagram. If you make any designs using your pencil loom, I would love to see those too. So be sure to tag me, the cheese thief. Thank you. Have a great day. And remember to be kind to one another. Until next time. Bye now.